the funeral was held um, in the Forest of Dean. And then we've had the job of clearing the house. And that's been very strange because we haven't been allowed to go down there very often at all. Um, so decisions have had to be made about what things we throw out, what we want to keep, but we're having to do it without the whole family being there. It was also very strange, actually, in the funeral because we, we were all very spaced out, so we couldn't really comfort each other. We were in little groups of four dotted all over the crematorium, uh, which, was, which was really very strange, very odd indeed. Dad was very old. He was born in 1920, so he was in his 100th year. And to be honest, we were expecting him to go for quite some time. But he had no illnesses and a very strong constitution. Um, and he was taking no medication, uh, for, which was amazing, really, for a man of his age. Um, he lived on his own in a large farmhouse, which was over 100 miles away from the rest of his family in Gloucestershire. He and his wife, he and mum, moved there um, from Surrey over 30 years ago. Um, she died seven years ago, and we thought he'd follow really soon after, but he didn't. It was a very lonely existence, but one he didn't really seem to want to change. He wouldn't go into a care home, um, and he refused to come and live with us. But as lockdown hit, it meant that we couldn't go and see him. So the last time we were with him was, gosh, last January. But then a few weeks before COVID hit, he kept falling over and we decided the time had come where he really couldn't live on his own anymore. So we moved him into a care home literally just two weeks before we all went into lockdown. Fortunately, his memory was fairly poor, so he didn't necessarily realise how long it had been since we'd seen him. But it did feel really cruel to put him in a home and then not go and see him again. It did feel like we'd sort of abandoned him. And the other thing was that we weren't able to go back and have a wake. So it all felt a little bit like we'd been cheated, to be honest. Uh, after this great long life of nearly 100 years, there was so little that we could do to actually say goodbye in a big way. The care home staff uh, did get him to record a birthday video message for Fred when he got to his 18th birthday, which, which was lovely. He died just a couple of weeks later. Happy birthday, Freddie.